round for 12 rounds of boxing. Hiding out of the red corner, introducing from Manchester, England, a popular and exciting junior welterweight and welterweight champion of the world, here is Ricky Hitman Hatton. Hiding out of the blue corner, from New York, here is one of boxing's all-time greats with 174 wins in his 201 fights. A welterweight champion of the world, a five-time middleweight champion of the world, introducing Sugar Ray Robinson. So much hype surrounding this fight, and now it is go time. Todd, you know when you've got two fighters there that really believe they're gonna win, really wanna get it on? This is when it gets stupid. Good luck. And there's the bell for round one. These power punches are bruising up his body. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Really good buzz in the air tonight. This crowd waiting for something special. Can you imagine walking into this town, walking into a arena with such nice people chanting your name? You can't even hear the corner man whisper in your ear. I've been in situations like that where it can be terrorizing if you haven't got your wits about you. Punching for both these athletes. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And wait a minute, the left hand lands. Both men step back for just a moment. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You are fighting the swarmer. Be smart. Be sharp. Concentrate, but you've got to be confident. Do not dance his dance, because that swarmer, once you do that, you're giving the man a chance that should not have been. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. We've just taken a big breath, and here we go again. That left shot lands. Punch scores. Counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Counter punch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter puncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. He threw the hook, didn't land. Exchanges from both men in this round. Hey, those punches add up. They're both going for the KO. It's so obvious. This fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using that length advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fighters can do that. Both of these 
been showing exceptional chins, by the way. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? You can't leave it up to the judges. It's and there's the bell for round three. Why aren't they defending? Nice exchange here from both men. You can appreciate fast footwork and fast hands, then this is the division for you. Oh my goodness, what pace, what pace, they're like, do you know what a Yorkshire Terrier is, Tom? That's, they're like little Yorkshire Terriers. Missed him with that uppercut. Exchanges from both men in this round. Perfect punch. Good right hand. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. What you've got to do, Tony, is anticipation. You've got to wait, you've got to, you just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. you just got to put in a guess. Neither man is really defending themselves. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. Here's the bell for round four. He misses with that jab. And he misses with that jab. both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you don't think of You just gotta be smart than You gotta be like a little fader that pickpocket them. Both men step back for just a moment. Score with that left hand. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be having second thoughts in the ring. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. I seriously hope... Here's the bell to start round five. He just misses with that jab.
another scoring shot there. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down. It's so demoralizing, it absolutely breaks your heart. What else can we do? Nice punch. And they figure out the combination to this sink. And he misses with the left uppercut. Good punch. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. Dominance, without a doubt, make look this is the beginning of round six. There's a scoring blow. Not about a punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. I don't want to punch out, but thought there might be more action here. Two are the perfect dance partners. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. So you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick of it because you've got to get some before you get in close. Punch. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is... Here we go, it's round seven. Left punch. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. with that jab. Back 
back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punch. This is not good news for Ricky Hatton. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. Someone's will will cave, but which fighter will it be? He got out of the way of that right hook. He misses with that jab. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. No secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next. And they're back at it again here in round eight. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Just missed with that left jab. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Caught him with that power punch. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two. So his offense gets stifled there by a clinch. round with 10 seconds to go. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you-know-who. You can't leave it. And we enter the night. Shots from both of these fighters. Got to be careful, though. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain damage. Swing and a miss. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help them to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the fight. They've got to relax. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it.
They are giving us a high-tempo show. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. You've heard the old phrase, this might come down to who wants it more, but it might come down to who's in better shape. This is the 10th. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Midweight through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're gonna find out. Nice slip to avoid the jab. Defending themselves. Good punch. If you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw, it's about how many you land and how hard they are. So one who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. If you get and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. Punch. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. I'm worried about these two fighters gassing out as this fight goes on. This is when you talk about championship material. There's the bell to start round 11. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Both men step back for just a moment. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Good one. is being thrown to the wind. It's like a game of joust. They both got their swords. They're slinging it. That one will count. the score with a jab. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. How much cardio was put in for this fight? And they come down to that. You cannot... We thought we would have made it to 12. someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? 
Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Unlucky to miss with that jab. Caution is being thrown to the wind. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. One. Unanimous. You know what? Smart, smart, that is. A total change of styles to make sure they got it. At every round in the bag, there was no argument, no discussion, no mistake. It was so obvious.